last time on Better Than Average. Lila, she was a little bit down after that pitching workout. Me and my daddy, we don't, we don't see um, what you'd call eye to eye. Hey, Dad. Shut up. Shut up. I need to get focused, need to get focused for the pitching practice because remember, you felt like you didn't do good when you had to work out at um, the Otasco, okay? So. Shut up! Something just wasn't right with her today. She just didn't have the speed or control she normally has. And I knew something was off, you know. I knew. Baby girl stayed home sick today. So, what's the matter? My throat hurts and um, my ear hurts and I've been running a fever. Oh yeah? You uh, you think it's that, uh, that Rona? No, I got a lot of bacteria in my throat. Living in there rent-free. Mama said we can't play softball today since she's out of school sick running a fever. I mean, I'm the one staying here with her and I should be able to do what I want to do, to be honest, but dang, what are we going to do all day? So I'm a little bit concerned that uh, the Lala don't think nerds are funny. I don't really know yet what that says about her future with softball, but can't be good. She's going to marry an Eagle Scout or something. Her mom ended up coming and getting her and taking her to the doctor appointment. I think she needed to after that nerd stuff. But I figured I'd just do some things around here while I'm waiting to hear. Uh, it's the old lady calling about the appointment. Hello. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, baby. I thought you was your mama. Well, I'm calling on Mom's phone. Oh, okay. All right. What's up? I want to tell you the test results that I got at the doctor. Oh, okay. Well, what would they say? So, my strep throat test was negative, my flu test was negative, and my COVID test was negative. Oh, good. Well, uh, did they give you anything? Well, my doctor is British, and she gave me an antibiotic, and she said, Take your vitamins, you filthy American! Oh, sounds like she lives in a flat. Hey, listen, baby, I'm looking at some stuff. I gotta go, okay? Fine, go. Take a guitar and your mullet and keep trying to be like Morgan Wallen. Bye. 
Lila likes to make fun of my hair. She thinks she's so funny. Talking about my mullet. Mm -hmm. She says I'm trying to be like Morgan Wallen. I ain't trying to be like no pop country BS. What you talking about? I had a mullet in 1987. And besides, this ain't even no mullet. It's long all over, like Brad Pitt. Hey, Bibby, how are them uh, tater tots? You must be feeling better since you're eating them tater tots. You feeling better? Uh-huh. Yay! I guess I need to get in red <laughs> with you. Mm -hmm. you, need some, okay. you need some of that rap music. Oh, yeah. To do it right. It's a little bit chilly out here tonight. But I need to come out here and get some air. Because I've been thinking about my mama. And um, it's Friday. And a lot of times on Friday, I pick baby girl up from school and take her to spend some time with her, her grandmom and all that. So, but uh, but my mama, she um, she got that old-timey disease. That one from way back. The one where you can't think real good and you, you, you might forget the last 10 years, but you might remember something from my old times. You know, I got other names for it. And, uh, Dementor Brain and um, Straight from Ass Command. Yeah, the just sucks all the the good fun feelings and memories out of you and just leaves a cold shell you know of who you who you once were it's a terrible disease i don't know i just i don't but i don't like to be so negative I'm kind of guy I like to turn negative into a positive, so um, she's got it, and sometimes you gotta laugh about it, you know, keep from crying and all that. But I think I've decided, you know, um, my dad done told me to shut up one too many times, so so I'm gonna turn this into a positive, cause. You know how you might get in trouble and fired or something for something you said 40 years ago? They're doing that now? They're trying to, trying to get you in trouble for 40 years ago? Well, I'm 45. And, you know, my mama with her brain stuff, brain freeze... I, uh, I'm pretty sure when you got that, that you can't, you can't be consensual, you know? And obviously, 45 years ago, they got it on. Yeah. So, that's against the law. I don't do karate. Now let's 
examine that for a minute. You better care about karate, honestly. Because the media and Hollywood, they've been telling us since the 1980s that we better learn karate. Just watch the movies. More on that in a minute, but the thing is, it's, I mean, it's the wave of the future. Right? Yeah. Karate's the wave of the future, because when them communists come, we're going to have to know all the karate chops and all the karate kicks. And look, I know my mom <laughs> isn't in her right mind. But, you know, let's face it, it, it's because of the metal you get in your system over your lifetime that you get that old-timey disease, right? It's from them putting aluminum foil all over their windows and, and you know, I couldn't go to the Quincy's or or Ryan's or anywhere without my mama getting a baked potato get wrapped in aluminum foil. She's got aluminum in her brain. That's what's causing it. And the thing is, is they don't know yet if if it's the shiny side or the dull side that's doing it. But anyway, back to karate in the 80s. Here we go. I'm only going to talk about this one time, and then I'm going to leave it alone. But if you ain't watching Cobra Kai, then you're missing out. Trust me. Johnny is an absolute legend. But I'm about sick of that. Ralph Macho piece of crap. And don't go saying, oh, it's a movie, it's a TV show, it's just a character. I've seen that dude interviewed, and it is the same guy that's in that movie. Come on. And I can relate to Johnny because when I was in high school, I had this dude move in and take my girl, but Johnny's even got it worse than I had it because not only did he get his girl took, but he got the karate championship stolen. And no, I'm not talking about the stupid illegal kick to the face. That don't even matter because he should have never been in the tournament to illegally kick him in the face. Why? Because he wasn't a black belt. His thug, low-life karate teacher stole that belt right out of that guy's bag. If you don't believe me, go back and watch that movie because it is right there, right there. And the, not only is the karate teacher a criminal, when it comes to stealing, he also drove around everywhere without a driver's license. He let kid drive around everywhere without a driver's license. And the dude's giving whiskey to minors. Don't tell me that's a nice guy. And don't tell me, oh well, it's a different culture. Or, oh, well, it's a different time. Well, you know what? If that's the case, then them dudes down there living at the trailer park, they're all Asians from the 1980s. Preacher man on the TV He's putting out rock and roll Wants me to send a donation Cause he's worried about my Jesus walked on the water, and I know that's true. Sometimes I think that preacher man would like to do a little walking too. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. If I 